back to the Blessed Performance YouTube channel. Right here we have a mean green alternator, okay? We want to talk alternators, more specifically alternators for a 6.0 power stroke in general, but this, can, this rule of thumb can apply to multitude of diesel pickup trucks. Okay, but we're going to talk about 6.0. So let's chat. The 6.0 power stroke from the factory was produced with a 140 amp alternator. Okay, yes, it does the voltage. It's not the voltage that's the problem, it's the amperage. So when you turn that key on in the morning and it's below 30 or, you know, it's a colder morning, turn that key on and you see that little glow plug light come on. What that means, your glow plugs are heating up so that it'll help warm up the cylinder so your truck will fire when, it, when, when you turn the key over. In that process, what's happening in that crank startup and the cranking and the startup for the first two minutes, at least two minutes, if not longer, depending on the temperature outside, your truck is pulling anywhere from three to 400 amps of, of, of power. So your 140 amp alternator is getting overworked dramatically and your batteries can't keep up. So it's a major flaw that's well known. The, the 6.0 power stroke comes with an alternator that is the same that goes on a Ford Focus, okay? Same amperage. Pretty crazy to think about that your big power stroke diesel engine has the same alternator that goes on a, on a Ford Focus. That being said, we have some upgrades available. Our favorite one to use in house is this Mean Green. Mean Green produces a 230 amp alternator. <coughs> This is the, the alternator right here. This is going on our truck, so we figured we'd chat about it. So this is a 230 amp alternator. This paired with a good quality set of batteries will allow you to have cold starts without any worries about overworking your alternator and killing your alternator. What can happen when you kill your alternator? You lose voltage, sends a voltage charge through the truck. You can take out your ficum. You can hurt injectors, solenoids, um, or you can short out wires somewhere. <laughs> what we recommend is to put a 200 amp at minimum alternator on your 6.0 power stroke. We have a couple different 200 amp options on the website, and we also go up to like a 350, I want to say. Don't quote me on that number. But anyways, we go up to a, quite a big alternator. You want to base this solely off of, you know, not solely off of engine needs, but also your in-cab needs. If you're one of those guys that, that loves to have a stereo system, nothing wrong with that. Nice big subwoofer in the back. Got the, you know, got some jams tuning out, whatever, on the, on the radio. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have enough power to supply to those as well. So we recommend, of course, upgrading the alternator. Now, the other question that we get asked often is, do we need to upgrade the battery cables for this? For this, for, for the, the standard vehicles, for the standard truck, it is not a necessity, no. Is it a good upgrade to do? Yes, but it's not a necessity. We do carry a kit on our website for upgrading that. You can also build them at home from scratch. It's pretty simple to build a battery cable kit. Generally, what I like to do is what I'll do is I'll add an extra ground because there is nine grounds on a 6.0 power stroke, and that is generally not enough to keep this bad boy working. So what I'll do is I'll run over to my local auto parts store. I'll grab a 30-inch um, ground cable, and I'll route it around your charge air cooler pipe and over here to the fender well from, from right here, okay? Um, that helps just ground out the engine more, helps the, the alternator work better, um, provide more charge, more amperage to your and to, to your batteries, of course, to your truck. So <clears throat> once again, just to cover the quick bases, your factory alternator goes on for your 6.0, will also work as the same size as that of that came on a Ford Focus. You draw anywhere from three to 400 amps of service in a cold start situation that puts a major draw on your on your charging system of your truck, your batteries, your alternator, your ficum, your injector solenoids, they all need that electricity. So by upgrading this, you're, you're, you're helping prevent a failure point, okay? Um, if your ficum is dropping below 45, most likely it's because it's been overworked because it, it, it doesn't have the amperage that it needs coming from this bad boy during a cold start. So we recommend, of course, upgrading the alternator and then as needed, upgrade um, your, your, your battery cables. They're not always needed, but it is a nice upgrade to do. You can clean up the engine bay. There's a couple of great guys out there that do some at-home kits. Um, I can't think of their names off the top of my head, but they, there's a couple of great guys out there that do some battery kits that you could look up and find. We just offer pretty much a standard kit that works really well. Um, and the reason behind it is to, to help protect your six liter, to help extend your six liters life. Folks ask us for necessity upgrades for a 6.0. If you call me and tell me that, I'm gonna tell you to upgrade your alternator. So that way you can protect your ficum and your injectors. That's the number one reason that you want to upgrade your alternator because by upgrading the alternator, you're just, obviously they're gonna fail at some point. So rather than spend 250 bucks on another one that's a lower amperage, spend $300 on an upgraded alternator that's designed to handle the amperage load that the 6.0 power stroke needs.
Give us a call today. Check out our website, blessedperformance.com. Give us a call. We'd be glad to chat alternators with you at any time. 1-800-577-2698.